Good morning, everybody. I'm Rob Finnerty alongside Amity Adrisi. Right to the news this morning. For the first time, Officer Darren Wilson is speaking out publicly about the deadly shooting that put him in the national spotlight. Take a look. After that, I paused and I again yelled, you know, stop, get on the ground, giving him the opportunity to stop. And he ignored all the commands and he just kept running. The Ferguson police officer told ABC News he did his job right and it was his duty to chase after Michael Brown last August. A grand jury did not indict Wilson, which has led to protests across the country. In the meantime, attorneys for Brown's family hope a federal investigation will now lead to charges against Officer Wilson. Back here at home, a Bakersfield teacher is under investigation, accused of sexting with a student. Teacher Stephen Taylor from Ridgeview High School is now on paid leave during that investigation. Police say the 31-year-old exchanged several sex-related text messages with a 17-year-old female student. The teen told police they never actually had sex, but the texts were, quote, a joke. And happening now, as you get ready for that Turkey Day travel, a snowstorm, a big snowstorm, could put a damper on those travel plans said to affect 2.5 million air travelers. Forecasters are expecting heavy snow and rain across much of the Northeast, and some airlines have already canceled hundreds of flights today. AAA predicts more than 46 million Americans will leave town by car over the Thanksgiving weekend, in part because of the low gas prices. 8.33 is the time. Aaron Perlman is with us in the studio, and he's got a look at your Wednesday getaway forecast. Aaron, good morning. Good morning. Before